I'm Jeff Ward, Principal of Homerton College, and it's my great pleasure to welcome you today to this festal Easter Evensong. Welcome if you're a student currently immured behind the walls of the college during lockdown, or a student studying remotely, a fellow or a member of staff, a retired senior member, an alumnus, an alumna, or a first-time visitor to the college, and therefore a new friend. You're all very welcome. It's a pleasure, too, to be participating in this event from within the Church of St. John the Evangelist, Hills Road, Cambridge, with whom Homerton College has had such a long and fruitful and ongoing association. There are so many things that we would do normally and we cannot because like the charter choir singing today, we are dispersed. So many things that we would do that we have to put into abeyance because of the pandemic. But let's all hope that on a virtual occasion like this, where we meet together in a different way, in a different sphere, there is that opportunity for new as well as old friends to come together to make us stronger as we will be when we emerge from all this. And that too is the story of Easter. Thank you. Welcome to St. John the Evangelist, Cambridge, for this special service of Festal Evensong for this holy festival of Easter, the most important day in our Christian calendar. Welcome to dispersed members of the Homerton community, to students and graduates. Welcome back to our charter choir, whom we have missed so much this term. And welcome to our local parishioners at St. John's for this Easter Sunday prayer book service. I would especially like to thank Jeff, the principal, for his warm words, and to echo our appreciation of this special link between college, church, and local community in Hills Road, which I, as vicar, place a high value on. And I would like to convey my warmest greetings to you all in these exceptional times for a happy, holy, and life-giving Easter, whatever this last term has been for you. A sentence from scripture. Sing for joy, O heavens, and exalt, O earth. Break forth, O mountains, into singing. For the Lord has comforted his people and will have compassion on his suffering ones. Let us begin our festal evensong for Easter. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. The choir will now sing verses 1 to 6 and 12 to 14 of Psalm 92. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto thy name.
first reading is taken from the book of the prophet Ezekiel, chapter 37, beginning to read at verse 1. The hand of the Lord was upon me, and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord, and set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones, and caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O Lord God, thou knowest. Again he said unto me, Prophesy upon these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. And I will lay sinews upon you, and will bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I was commanded, and as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, a shaking, and the bones came together, bone to his bone. And when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came up upon them, and the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. Then he said unto me, prophesy unto the wind, prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, thus saith the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they might live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived, and stood up upon their feet, an exceeding great army. Then he said unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say, our bones are dried, and our hope is lost. We are cut off for our parts. Therefore prophesy and say unto them, thus saith the Lord God, Behold, O my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves and bring you into the land of Israel. And ye shall know that I am the Lord when I have opened your graves, O my people, and brought you up out of your graves, and shall put my spirit in you, and ye shall live, and I shall place you in your own land. Then shall ye know that I, the Lord, have spoken it, and performed it, saith the Lord. The word of the Lord came again unto me, saying, Moreover, thou son of man, take thee one stick and write upon it, for Judah and for the children of Israel his companions, and then take another stick and write upon it, for Joseph, the stick of Ephraim, and for all the house of Israel his companions and join them one to another into one stick, and they shall become one in thine hand. Here ends the first reading. The Magnificat. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Saviour, for he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. He hath showed strength with his arm. He hath scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, hath holpen his servant Israel, as he promised to our forefathers, Abraham and his seed forever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.
The second reading is taken from the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 20, beginning to read at verse 1. The first day of the week cometh Mary Magdalene early, when it was yet dark, unto the sepulchre, and seeth the stone taken away from the sepulchre. Then she runneth, and cometh to Simon Peter, and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved, and saith unto them, They have taken away the Lord out of the sepulchre, and we know not where they have laid him. Peter therefore went forth, and that other disciple, and came to the sepulchre. So they ran both together, and the other disciple did outrun Peter, and came first to the sepulchre. And he, stooping down and looking in, saw the linen clothes lying, yet went he not in. Then cometh Simon Peter, following him, and went into the sepulchre, and seeth the linen clothes lie, and the napkin that was about his head, not lying with the linen clothes, but wrapped together in a place by itself. Then went in also that other disciple, who came first to the sepulchre, and he saw and believed. For as yet they knew not the scripture, that he must rise again, from the dead. Then the disciples went away again unto their own home. Here ends the second reading. The Easter anthems. Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore let us keep the feast. Not with the old leaven, nor with the leaven of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Christ, being raised from the dead, dieth no more. Death hath no more dominion over him. For in that he died, he died unto sin once. But in that he liveth, he liveth unto God. Likewise, reckon ye also yourselves to be dead unto sin but alive unto God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Christ is risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept. For since by man came death, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I believe in God the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Ghost born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. 
Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us and grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the Queen and mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. Endue thy ministers with righteousness and make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people and bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fighteth for us, but only thou, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us and take not thy Holy Spirit from us. The Collect for Easter Day let us pray. Almighty God, through thine only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, hast overcome death and opened unto us the gate of everlasting life. We humbly beseech thee that, as by thy special grace preventing us, thou dost put into our minds good desires. So, by thy continual help, we may bring the same to good effect through Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Spirit, ever one God, world without end. Amen. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that both our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee, we being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness. Through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy, Defend us from all perils and dangers of this night for the love of thy only Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. The choir will now sing the anthem, Ye Choirs of New Jerusalem, or Sing Choirs of New Jerusalem. This is an English Easter hymn by Robert Campbell. It is a 19th century translation of the medieval Chorus Novae Jerusalem, attributed to Fulbert of Chartres. The first verse is, Ye choirs of New Jerusalem, your sweetest notes employ, the paschal victory to him in strains of holy joy. The notable setting of the hymn to music, which we hear this evening, is in the form of an anthem for Eastertide by Charles Villiers Stanford, which was completed in December 1910.
Let us pray. We pray to Jesus, who is present with us to eternity. Jesus, light of the world, bring the light and peace of your gospel to the nations. Let the design of thy great love, shown most gloriously in your death and resurrection, come amongst us now to give peace to thy church, peace amongst the nations, peace in our dwellings, and peace in our hearts. Jesus, bread of life, give food to the hungry and nourish us all with your word. We pray for those in our community and our country who are struggling in food poverty, severely exacerbated during this time of pandemic. We pray for local food charities, especially the Queen Edith Food Hub and the Cambridge City Food Bank. We pray for all volunteers and for those who generally support these organisations and for all those that use them. Let us not lose sight too of hunger across the world, often caused by war, famine or natural disasters. And so we pray for each of those places and for hunger wherever it occurs. Jesus, our way, our truth, our life. Be with us all and... Th Jesus, our way, our truth, our life. Be with us and all who follow you in the way. We pray for all our dispersed communities who have been unable to gather together over the last few months. We pray for the congregation here at St John's, just beginning to worship physically together. And we pray for all the students and staff of Homerton College and across the University of Cambridge. For the, we give thanks for the many ways they have adapted to online learning and pray for the safe return of all students to the college campus. Jesus, the good shepherd who gave your life for the sheep, recover the straggler, bind up the injured, strengthen the sick, and lead the healthy and strong to new pastures. We pray for all those, whether suffering from physical illness, mental ill health, or from emotional hurt. We pray for all who need your healing, your comforting presence, and your uplifting support today. We hold before you Addenbrooke's Hospital and all medical professionals, and those in caring roles in our community, who have worked so tirelessly over the last year. Grant unto them strength, resilience, and the energy they need to keep on caring. Jesus, the resurrection and the life, we give thanks for all who have lived and believed in you. We pray for all who have died during this pandemic and ask you to be with their friends and families and all who mourn. And so, in a time of silence and space, we share with you all who are on our hearts today. Jesus, Lord of all life, in your mercy hear us, accept our prayers, and be with us always. Amen. And so let us join together with the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen. And a final prayer. Let us pray. God of our salvation, you have restored us to life. You have brought us back again into your love by the triumphant death and resurrection of Christ. Continue to heal us as we go to live and work in the power of your spirit to your praise and glory. Amen. 
and the God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the eternal covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, rest upon you and remain with you and those whom you love, this day and always. Amen. <laughs>